Inbound! <laughs> He's the big old Cyclops you hear about in Greek mythology. And uh, well, I'm a little bit terrified of him. But no, I'm not. Because I've got a Worm Destroyer! Hey, what's going on dudes? It's Mitch, or Bajan Canadian here, and I'm excited to share with you another mod showcase today. Today we're going to actually be going over the Cerithios mod, which adds 10 new mobs to battle, some epic bosses, a bunch of new items that range from ridiculously destructive weapons and a couple of cool tools, to some really useful new rings that you can infuse and do funky fresh stuff with. Isn't that right, Nacho? Nacho? Pick your booty up off the floor and tell me, nod your head, nod your body. It is good, Mitch. Yes, it is. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. You can sit back down now. <laughs> I won't be needing you just yet. You just continue to look really cute and adorable. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to go ahead and start this one off by saying that a lot of the crafting recipes, I'm just going to overlay images because they're kind of boring to go over and you guys don't need to see that. If you want to learn this mod inside and out for yourself, there's a link in the video details, of course. I'm going to cover all the cool aspects that I like in the mod and uh, share with you a few of the features, and the rest is going to be all up to you. So I'm going to go ahead and get started by saying, what you're going to want is to craft a ceremonial dagger, like in a lot of these mods where you perform crazy ritual things. You need to collect blood, not seeds. And uh, to do so, you just craft this using one stick and one iron ingot in your crafting table. It's super simple. And then you right-click it on yourself, and boom, shakalaka. I've been blinded and slowed, and I feel all weird like... Ah, oh, good. Particles are gone. I'm not stinky anymore. And it'll give you one blood vial. So, there is some alternatives to this. If you don't want to be stabbing yourself all day, maybe you don't like needles or, or daggers pricking your fingers, you can actually craft a demonic apple, which is uh, just surrounding a regular red apple with four enderpearls. And then when you eat this bad boy, oh, oh, it hurts. You take five hearts of damage, but in return you get ten blood vials, which are super helpful in crafting new items and uh, doing infusions and crazy stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and put those with my stack of 64 that I've got in my handy inventory here. And uh, from there, I'm actually going to go ahead and show off the Ring of Healing, which is pretty cool. All i got to do is... Wait, actually, I'll put some, some of these in my hotbar so you can see. If I right-click, boom! uses up one of the blood vials to activate it, but it gave me regeneration. Um, and that is really helpful, as you would guess, because now I'm healing up. And, uh, well, if I needed to prick my finger all day with daggers or eat demonic apples... I could easily heal with this, so. <laughs> and it's useful in fights, I guess. Having regen's a good thing. But I'm playing on peaceful right now, so it doesn't matter too much. I'm I'm playing the peaceful easy route today. Right, Nacho? Yeah, you're a good boy. Yeah, you are. <laughs> uh, next on the list, I want to show you the iron bow. Um, it's not too fancy. The crafting recipe is just a regular bow surrounded by iron ingots. But uh, really basic. I like bows. I'm kind of like Katniss. I love to shoot stuff. So it charges up twice as fast as a regular bow, shoots way further as you just saw, and it does a nice chunk of damage. That cow is somehow a survivor, but... I right, cow, stop bouncing arrows off your butt. There we go. Anyone else want to tussle? Pew! Pew! The accuracy is kind of weird, as you can see when I shoot this. It kind of goes all funky fresh, but it shoots super crazily fast and does a good chunk of damage, and it's just kind of a cool alternative to a regular old bow. So that's the iron bow that comes with this, which is just another projectile. Nothing that fancy. The real crazy ones come out in a little bit. Um, next on the agenda, I'm going to show you how to make the ring fabricator, the super crafting bench. So I'm going to put a regular crafting table down. I'm actually going to have to hop in creative mode for this one. And I'm going to be grabbing myself some cobblestone. Let's go ahead and take, uh, we'll just take 10 of these. Should do the trick. We're going to grab some obsidian. And... What you're going to want to do is, whoops, game mode survival again, so I can show you in a regular crafting bench. You're going to want to take your obsidian, just throw it in a workbench. It's going to give you four obsidian shards, and you use these to craft compressed stone like that. And then with the compressed stone, you can go ahead and craft some crazy, crazy stuff. But we're not ready for that crazy stuff just yet. We're going to start by making ourselves a ring fabricating table. And then I'll show you what the uh, compressed stone is really used for. Because that stuff gets wild. So to make the very simple ring fabricator. Bloop, bloop, bloop. And then six iron like that. And then we got ourselves a really gray scaled, uh, hideous looking table. So I'm going to put them both down. And uh, look at them. They look demonic and 
boring. But that's okay, because you use these, and look at the size of that. You use these to craft rings, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how I made the, the ring of healing, which is really simple. You're going to want to start by, first of all, creating an iron ring. Then you're going to want to take the iron ring, surround the iron ring in gold, and then you're going to get a golden ring, and then you're going to take the golden ring, and you're going to do some funky stuff like this. You're going to take these bad boys and do one of these. And then you're going to want to take this flame gem, which I'll show you how to make that shortly. Put that baby on top. And then you're going to take some blood vials and do one of these reverse helmets. <laughs> and then take some compressed stone. Fill in the rest, and before you know it, you've got yourself a Ring of Healing, which is super sweet. So now that you know how to make the Ring of Healing, I'm sure some of you are wondering, Mitch, how the heck did you get that fancy flame gem? And let me tell you how I got the fancy flame gem. Right after I right-click this one more time. Boom, regen. Thanks, Ring. <laughs> oh, look at those stinky old particles. All right, so to get the flame gem, it is actually not too tricky. You're going to want to start by creating an infusing table which is crafted just like this. You're gonna go ahead and take one Amorite ingot, surround it with one gold ingot, and put one more Amorite on the side, and then you're gonna get a Tiresium ingot, and with the Tiresium ingot, you're gonna use this, some blood vials and some compressed stone to make an infuser or an infusing table, and with that table, there's a lot of cool, tricky things you can do, which uh, get pretty wild, and this is where the mod starts to really take off and have some fun. So now that I have an infuser, I'm gonna go ahead and place that baby down here, and look at this. This is some crazy demonic ritual stuff. And we're going to dive right into it and be crazy people and have a great time in this mod. And uh, I'm going to show you how to make the flame gem. It is super, super easy. You're going to need one more Tiresium ingot. Put it in the middle. You're going to want a diamond, a diamond, and then, of course, some blood vials. So um, you guys see the crafting recipe on screen right now. It is super simple. I actually don't want to craft any more of those right now. What I want to do instead is share with you something a little more interesting to say the very least. I'm gonna go ahead and create a boss spawning bone of doom. And to do that, it's simple. Amorite ingot, two bones, and then blood vials. And guess what I get in return? I get an unusual bone. And what's gonna happen with this unusual bone? Who knows? <laughs> well, actually I know. Nacho's not gonna eat this, that's for sure. Hey buddy, uh, be careful buddy, I don't want you to I want you to get hurt. We're about to fight a big old bad boss. Before I do that, I actually want to gear up a bit because it's going to hurt a lot if I don't have any armor. And let's go ahead and use some Amorite armor. Da 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 da. Arumite armor, so dank delicious. And game mode S. Put that game mode S, you jerk, and put this armor on. And now I am swagging out hard in my purple armor. It looks great. <laughs> and now I'm going to take the unusual bone. And Kablamo! Oh, Abraxas the boss! I'm kind of scared, but he's gone already because I forgot that I'm on peaceful. Nacho, I let you down, buddy. Don't give me that look! <laughs> Alright, so I changed the game mode. I'm back here. Oh, Abraxas, he's mad! He's really angry! Boom! Stay away! Oh god, he's spawning in skellies and things with swords! This is terrifying! Amaramite sword, go in big! Chop him up. He just hurt. He's trying to hurt Nacho. Stay away. Stop spawning in mobs. Just, uh, you're not welcome here, Abraxas. I need to chop him up quickly. The reason being is he drops things that I need. He drops papers, which are used for more cool infusions. Infusions? Is that even a word? I don't know. I don't know. Ring of healing. Activate. Good. He's got an army. He's got an army unlike anything I've ever seen. And he keeps spawning in more. I've got to kill him quickly. Ugh, this is a tough fight. Where's he, where's he? I can't see him, he's surrounded by so many of his minions. No, he got me, look how low his health is. That's okay. I've got diamond swords. Lots of them. He's gonna one bang me. Ah, got him. Ah, ah, run for your life. Okay, okay. We're gonna be okay. We got rid of the boss. The big old bad boss. Eat some of those. Ow, 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 my booty. Put that on. And, well, difficulty, peaceful. Be gone! Ah, oh, we're safe now, everybody. It's gonna be okay. Alrighty, dude, so now that I've told you a little bit about the infuser and how that works and some of the crafting recipes and some of the boring jargon and blah, 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 Mitch, we don't care. We just wanna see some awesome modded stuff. Well, I got you covered. I'm gonna go ahead and make myself a Hellforge sword, just like this, 
Boom, baby! It's dangling time. This thing has got fire aspect stuff. When I hit mobs, it's gonna light them on fire and do a ton of damage. It's gonna be sweet. And I've also got some really sweet armor, which the crafting recipes for each of these are in the uh, on the screen right now, as you can see. And I'm gonna go ahead and let you know what each piece does. So the Atlantean helmet. When I wear this, it makes it so I can breathe infinitely underwater. It's an upgraded version of the Amorite gear, so. Uh, pretty cool stuff, and it puts these epic particles on my screen, like these weird symbols and stuff. I gotta say, it's pretty cool. Um, and then next up is the Titan chest plate, and the Titan chest plate gives me an infinite strength potion, has just been applied to me. So now that I've got the strength and the water breathing, the leggings of jumping, as you can imagine, will give you some jump boost, which is sweet, and the Hermes boots, well, they give you some move speed. So now that I'm super speedy, can jump like a crazy rabbit, do a lot of damage, and, well, breathe underwater forever, I think we're ready to fight some crazy mobs that are lurking out here in the desert that are a part of this mod pack, as well as, uh... Show off some of these crazy items. I don't know if you dudes are really ready for this. So I'm going to go ahead and switch my difficulty. I'm going to switch it all the way to hard. Because I'm not scared. I'm not scared of nothing. So as these guys start to show up, prepare yourselves for a ridiculous, ridiculous fight. So this crazy dude with two heads that you're looking at is called the Glacius. And he's pretty strong. He's going to poison me and do crazy stuff when I fight him. But I'm not scared. I'll take him on. And he drops diamonds. One to three diamonds every time you kill one, which is awesome. So now on this next unsuspecting Glacius, I'm going to go ahead and test out some of these pretty cool items here. Yeah, we got a worm cannon, a hellfire staff, and a worm destroyer. So we're going to start with a basic old worm cannon. Boom, baby! <laughs> now that is hot and spicy. And it uses up blood vials, so you got to make sure you have lots of blood vials if you want to use these items. And worm cannon! Boom! Nail them. Worm cannon! Boom, baby! Let's try out the Hellfire Staff. Inbound! I said, inbound! Well, unfortunately, the Hellfire Staff doesn't work for some reason, which is a bummer, because I wanted to watch something crazy fly out of the sky and knock this Glacius on his butt, but instead, I'll have to go with the Worm Destroyer. Hey, buddy. Boom! Triple the fireballs! <laughs> this thing is the same as the Worm Cannon, but it shoots three at once, and it's uh, really powerful, as you can guess. Look at that baby go. <laughs> That's it. See these ogres over here? These Cyclopses? They don't stand a chance! Oh my god. Boom! Yeah, I'm kind of crazy, I know. <laughs> oh, too much fun. Gotta love it, gotta love it. So let's go find some more of these mobs to fight and uh, show you what they do. Show you what they got up their sleeves. Let's go ahead and check out the Pentoculus. This guy is a weird eyeball dude with a bunch of, well, five, as you can guess, five eyeballs with a sixth sort of behind his butt. And he shoots fireballs at you. But unfortunately for him, I shoot a lot of fireballs with this bad boy. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna shoot you out of the sky. Don't make me do this. Did I get him? I think I got him. Yeah, I think I got him. <laughs> Alright, so that was the Pentoculus. Next up is the Mummy. Boom! Pretty standard, as you'd guess. But he makes you all slow when you're near him. Look, he applies slowness. Now, I don't like being slow, so I'm gonna shoot him down with the Hellforged Sword. And then the last one here I wanna show you before I go on to the epic boss is an Ancient. And this is what the Ancients look like. Kinda like a floating Enderman thingy majig. And, uh, well. He's about to get exploded. Hey, said exploded. Ah, don't, don't go through him. Blow him up. Blow him up. Got him. <laughs> Perfect. So now the last big old boss I got to show you here today is Polyphemus. And this guy is pretty wild. So, inbound! <laughs> He's the big old Cyclops you hear about in Greek mythology. And uh, well, I'm a little bit terrified of him. But, no I'm not. Because I've got a Worm Destroyer! <laughs> oh, how awesome is that? Let's just dig him a tunnel. He needs a new home. Boom, 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 boom. Alright, I'll charge this one up. Boom, just for you. Nailed it. <laughs> just kidding. Rapid fire time. <laughs> this is so much fun. Rain and explosions. Polyphemus don't stand a chance. Come on. 
I want to chop him up so I can get his weapon. His weapon's pretty sweet. That big old blade he's got. And I'm going to need that. Hey, I said I'm going to need that. Oh, oh, no, I think I just blew up his sword. Dang it. I think I just wrecked it. Yeah, well, he's definitely dead. And I left a huge crater in the ground, but uh, that's okay. I'll go grab it from creative mode because I'm cool like that. And shoop de woo. Here it is. Polyphemus hammer. And da 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 da. Hey, buddy, I want you to go on a trip. Be free. <laughs> it's just got crazy knockback. So you can have fun with this and knock mobs around and they can't tell you no. <laughs> bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> so that is really about it for this mod showcase. There are other things, like I said, I didn't showcase every single piece of it. There are other um, things you can do, things you can make, things you can check out. I just showed you guys the bulk of it and all the cool features that I like most. As you can see here in the creative menu, when I get down to the bottom, there are a few other things you can craft, a Hellforge pickaxe, you know, you can do some other crazy stuff here, you can have fun with all of this stuff, and um, yeah, it's a good time. I really enjoy this mod, and I have a good time playing around with it, so I think you dudes will too. So that is it for the Cerithios mod. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button with your forehead. Go and thank Nacho for all of his hard work and effort because he is still yet to respawn. Hopefully he'll be back in the next mod showcase. I really hope he is. I don't want to lose my buddy like that. <laughs> yeah, he'll be back. Who am I kidding? He's just charging up his batteries real quick. And uh, of course, if you're new to the channel, I encourage you to subscribe for more videos and more mod showcases. I actually have a really cool mod showcase coming up tomorrow. I'm going to take the Natural Disasters mod and combine it with Lucky Blocks and just have a crazy time with it and see what happens. Get some tornadoes and Lucky Blocks flying around and, and see what happens with it. It's going to be a good time. So tune in for that tomorrow. And other than that, I will catch you dudes all later. Love you long time. Goodbye.